Joined with head men's soccer coach Mike Giuliano after his team's 3-0 win over North Central College. Coach, a game where they came out in the opening minutes really determined to, to push the offense, play very pressure defense. Your team maintained composure and was able to kind of win the field back and then dominated the second half. Yeah, I think that's an accurate portrayal of what happened. I think uh, um, as we got our scout reports from the teams they faced, um, two different coaches talked about surviving their chaos. And that's, it, it's, it's, a, it's an endearing term, not a negative term. And, you know, we, we struggled surviving their, their defensive pressure early. And they got some really good looks at goal from the first five, seven minutes or so. I think we sorted out. Things slowed down then. They got a couple of really good looks at goal the rest of the half. But in, in the second half, you know, it, it, we, we just started, started putting the ball, you know, where we should put the ball. And, and I just thought it's fun to win a game. It's fun to win the Carthage game. But this game I thought we played pretty well from about the seven minute on. And so it's nice to win and play well which, you know, is, is positive as we move forward from here. This is two games in a row where your team has seemed to get better as the game goes on. What's really been the key, both against Carthage, when you guys were able to, to answer a goal with a quick goal in the late, later part of the game, and then tonight when you get bam, two quick goals to, to really put the game on ice? Yeah, i, I got to give credit to the, uh, to the guys because we had some pretty specific halftime adjustments for both games, and I thought that they did a great job of executing that. Um, and... You know, our game is pretty fluid. You, you can say a lot of stuff pre-game, but things, things change every night. And so you need to do half-by-half -half adjustments, and I thought they did a really good job uh, doing that. Um, and, then, and then, you know, we're starting to get to the point where when we, when we smell it, where, you know, we smell a little blood, we smell we're getting where we need to get. I mean, think, think of the Wash U game. Once we're starting to get that sense that, you know, we're starting to get a bit of a dominant streak going, I think the guys are doing a good job of riding that streak. The challenge is that we haven't been, as, been on as much of those streaks as I think we're capable of being. But clearly, uh, for you know a bit of the second half against Carthage, for all of the second half tonight, and you know for the, most of the second half against Wash U, our last three opponents, you know they 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 could sense that things were turning our way, and they really pushed the, uh, you know, pushed the gas on that and made it happen. You guys continue on in your in your conference schedule next week. You're two and zero now in the CCIW. What's really been the biggest thing to take forward that you guys seem to be playing some of your best soccer of the year? Yeah, well, you know, our conference, I mean, you know, you think this is a team that lost to Milliken, who's, who's, who's for wins during, in the conference, are very, are very few over the last few years. And so, you know, this is a good team. I mean, you know, we, this is, with all due respect, this is as good as two of the uh, NCAA tournament teams we saw last year, if not more. And they've already lost to the team that traditionally has, has, has done, you know, poorly in our conference. And it's just, conference is, is the real deal here. And it's, you know, the, 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 the doormats just don't exist much anymore, and uh, uh, I think that this team has a very good chance. This team will, this team will be in every game in, in conference that they're in, and so uh, you know it's just a nice time to start, you know, start playing well. I mean, the funny thing is that uh, you know we feel like this season's been a bit of a disappointment, and yet mathematically we still are definitely on track to do as well or better than last year. And so, but this, you know, we got we got to take care of Aurora. That that tends to be a tough place for us to play on the road. Um, and then we get right back to it with Elmhurst's best record at this point in, in years and just see what happens.